Hi there kids, I'm your mom's new boyfriend and today we're going to go out and search for new Pokemon. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We've got quite a common find here. It's a mother Oddish with its baby. The Oddish is also known as the weed Pokemon and it's collected by many poor college kids and sold on the straights for money. All oh, right. You see, the Oddish likes to bury itself in the ground and then the little leaves stick up and the leaves are what is treasured by collectors and drug addicts. So to save this Oddish from those horrible druggies, I'm gonna catch the mother and leave the baby to fend for itself. All oh, right, I'm gonna sneak up on it. Pokeball, go! All oh, right, so I caught the mommy Oddish. Let's go. So my Oddish has a stamen. Does that mean it's like a boy or what? Ho hold up, hold up, hold up right here. You see, I think I spar with my little R and AV over here. No, now down. No, stop it. Oh, God, you suck. Okay, never mind. Come on, let's go. Let's go get it. All right. What we've got here is the rare Eevee. Well, it's not that rare, but I can't seem to catch one in the wild to save my life. Until today. You see, they say that the Eevee evolves dependent on its environment. I don't understand that because everything else evolves with, like, a stone or a level up or something. But an Eevee evolves with its environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch it put it in a cage for the rest of its life, and then it'll become a steel type. All right, I'm gonna catch the Eevee. Wish me luck. Boop. Okay, so I caught the Eevee. Balls, yeah! All right. So I found something that I never thought I'd ever see. It's a premature Snorlax. Look how tiny it is. It must have been newborn like seven minutes ago. There's no placenta, but there's a Snorlax and it's already eaten a ton in the seven minutes of its life. Look at this dung pile. It's massive. Definitely Snorlax dung. And I'm sure it's his, because if it was the mom's, it would be like this. It would be like one of my dumps. It'd be massive. So this is definitely the premature baby Snorlax's fecile matter. Right? Right. That answers my question. So this Snorlax, the entire Snorlax body is built to eat and sleep, and that's it. It's not even running from me because it's a lazy sack of that. And that is poop. So, I could catch this Pokemon and not put it in a zoo and save its life. But it's not really good in battle. And if a Pokemon's not good in battle, then what's it good for? Other than selling his drugs. So, I'm gonna leave this Snorlax in the wild to die. I can't believe the mother Snorlax left its baby. Well, it was probably for its own good. I mean, she might have accidentally eaten it. Wait, wait, there's something else up here. All oh, right. Now, this is an adequate find. I've snuck up behind it, and its ears are pointed that way, and it's mesmerized by the cameraman's ugliness, so it probably won't go anywhere. Odds are. Now, this is the rare Clefairy. You see, Quajillions of years ago, the Clefairy fell from the moon. So it probably carries all kinds of strange moon diseases, like moon cancer and maids. So don't touch Clefairy. It's very dangerous. And I wouldn't touch it if it would save my wife's life. Mostly because I hate my wife, but also because I don't want moon cancer. So... Don't touch Clefairy. Remember, 
Red and black, friend to Jack. Pink and brown will kill you. So, Clefairy. Sweet Jesus cannoli. It's a friggin' Bulbasaur. I've never actually seen one in the wild before. I mean, when I went and got my Starler Pokemon, I got a friggin' Charmander, because Charizard is a beast. And then, Steven got a friggin' Squirtle, because he's a butt face. And then, this was left in the lab, and I think Professor Oak ate it. So, I've never actually had my own Bulbasaur. I'm gonna see if I can catch this, but first, I'm gonna tell you about it, because I'm contractually obligated to do that. You see, the Bulbasaur is the Bulb Pokemon, and in that bulb is a flower that opens up when it evolves. It also looks like a frog, and a lizard had a baby with a plant on its back. So I'm gonna catch this Bulbasaur, and then I'm gonna show Steven what's what. All right, Bulbasaur, time the battle. Oddish, I'll choose you. Oddish. All right, Oddish. You is Vine Whip! Oddish! What do you mean you only know Absorb? That would imply that you're level one. You have a baby! How would you have a baby if you were level one? Oddish! What's the world coming to these days? The Oddish population is decreasing so rapidly because of the drug trade that Oddishes have to have babies at a very young age. Stop the Oddish drug trade. Donate to Animal Planet now. Bulba. Shut up, Bulbasaur. You're mine. Bulba. Pokeball, go. Bulba.